Fun fact, my family actually owns a pizza business in Italy. So this is again, like me paying homage to them. Me paying homage to my family with a Sims Let's Play. Sounds pretty pathetic. <laughs> Hello there everyone, Quoniki D here. Welcome back to another video. Today I am here with part one of Let's Play The Sims 4, Home Chef Hustle. First of all, welcome back. I am so excited to be doing another Let's Play. I'm here in my kitchen, isn't it beautiful? I'm ready to cook up and become a home chef and hustle it out. I'm also just like floored at the fact that I am back here with another Let's Play. It's been so long and nonetheless with a stuff pack, Welcome back, Stuff Packs. We've missed you. Um, I feel like, honestly, this was like, this could have been a game pack that they just didn't expand on enough, but I am so happy that I have something that has content. Okay, but we're here on the home screen. Let's read what it says. Small appliances, big upgrade. Outfit your kitchen with small appliances like a stand mixer, waffle maker, or countertop pizza oven to expand your culinary horizons. As Sims upgrade their skills, they'll be able to do more with these new appliances and discover more delicious recipes. Feed the neighborhood. Turn your love of cooking into a side hustle. Sims can open their own small business with the new food stand and sell tasty treats and mouth-watering meals to neighbors. Fresh Chef Styles. Your cooking adventure wouldn't be complete without the right fashion. Kitchen-ready hairstyles, food-themed accessories, and aprons for the whole family will have your sim looking like serious amateur chefs. Serious amateur chefs. Love that. So excited. We're going to jump right in to create a sim. I have such a cute story, in my opinion, picked out for this Let's Play. So let's get right into it. Okay, so we are here in Create a Sim, and I have a storyline like set for this pack. I kind of want this guy uh, who we will name to be like a very Italian man who wants to carry on his family's recipes through a food stand. So we are essentially gonna do this little mini series with like a pizza guy and make a pizza stall. And I know a lot of people are doing that, but like that's really what I was excited about. Like I'm not a big stand mixer, baker, or like waffle maker. So I feel like being a pizza guy is a thing and I am a pizza guy. I'm 100% Italian. I'm very proud of my Italian roots. So I thought it would be fun to finally like play like that in the game and have like purpose and maybe like have a little bit of meaning. So we're going to play in Tartosa, which is the most like Mediterranean kind of feeling world. And I'm very excited. But first we need to check out the new styles that came with this pack. I believe there is a new hair. So let's check that out look at this is a really nice hairstyle this is what like i wish my hair would look like in real life that is really nice there's also this one which is kind of it's giving like very like mediterranean style hair i just do not like the colorful bandana that it comes with honestly i would consider doing oh okay well did not mean to do that home chef hustle okay so there's some pretty decent selections here that is cool this one's really cool though. I think we're gonna do this. Oh, and it has a little uniform like logo. Okay, now I hate it. I like the plain one, I think the best. These are like really cheesy looking. Like maybe this would be a cool like pajama shirt, but not for him to actually like go out and be cooking in. I feel like, <coughs> sorry. I feel like a lot of these are like, you know, just fun. I want this to be like a serious outfit. This one's cool though. Maybe I give him, Maybe I'll make this like a secondary outfit, but just for an everyday outfit, I think that this is nice. Actually, like, is it dumb to have like a bandana tied around your head and tied around here? I don't know, it probably is kind of dumb, isn't it? No, no, I think it's fine. Why does this outfit like work? And why do I like all of his tattoos and everything? We need to name him, what should I name him? Okay, I came up with a fun name. I recently watched the Hilary Duff movie and they were in Italy and his name was Paolo. So Paolo's Pizza, like that would be so good. We're gonna name him Paolo. Um, let me come up with a, a really long name. Paolo. Let me see if I can, just Paolo, Paolo Pizza. We're gonna pick the last name, not Archuleta, like David Archuleta, we're gonna be the last name Carbone. Paolo Carbone. Carbone means charcoal. And I figured because, you know, he's a pizza person, you can, you know, he's like making like coal fired pizza. Okay, so we have a few new things. We have this one Market Magnate. This sim wants to operate. What is this? This sim wants to operate the most profitable food stand. And then there's also food, appliance whiz. I think we wanna 
do a profitable food stand. I don't really care about like learning about the appliances. I want to like start a business. Fun fact, my family actually owns a pizza business in Italy. So this is again, like me paying homage to them. Like it's why I want to do this. Me paying homage to my family with a Sims Let's Play. It sounds pretty pathetic. Um, but no, that's why I want to do it. I think it'd be really fun. Okay, let's make him a foodie. Where's the foodie one? Foodie? Is there a foodie? Or is it just glutton? No foodie. Okay, foodie. It's been a while since I played this. Like an actual let's play. I usually have been doing like dang Sim Viber games. We're gonna do a foodie. We're gonna make him a perfectionist. And we're gonna make him... We're gonna make him a little, like, like a very cheerful person. You know, he's fun to be around. You, Paolo is gonna sell you his, um, his pizza, and he's gonna do he's gonna do it well. All right, let's see if, what we can do tattoo wise. Oh, should we put some arm hair? I have never, ever put arm hair on my Sims. I don't think I want to start now. <laughs> Nor do I want to put torso hair. I mean, we could put torso hair. I've never done it on my Sims before, so maybe now's the time to do it. Now's the time to do it, but let's not do gray hair. Let's do that. Yeah, let's do that. Leg hair? I don't know. Italians are, you know, Europeans are, are pretty hairy, so let's do it. Let's just do it. Do it for the vine. Do it for the vine. All right, so now he has, now he has hair. Is it all the same color? Let me make it all the same color. There we go. Now he has body hair. Tattoos. Ooh, do we have any, like, cool new tattoos? <gasps> Oh my god, we do? Okay, that's kind of cute. I'll keep that one on. Um, and then maybe we can do another one. This one's like really scary. That doesn't really give me like... That one's worse. Um, I don't know if I like any of these. None of them are screaming like Italian <laughs> to me. Like this is very, very island-like. Um, I really like... I like these ones. But of course it's on the same arm as the as the, the cooking utensils. Why can't we stack tattoos, Sims? Have we not come up with a mechanism to do that yet? I don't know, maybe this one is the coolest one. Or I guess the one he had was like, the one he had was fine. I just don't remember which one it was. I guess it was this one. I guess that's fine. It looks heavenly, I suppose. Okay. He looks cool. Honestly, he looks cool. And ew, I am hating the fact that his leg hair is showing through Oh my god, his leg hair is showing through his pants. Oh, we gotta get rid of it. We gotta get rid of it. I'm getting rid of the leg hair and, and the arm hair. I could do the I could do the chest hair. No back hair though. But I, I would have to get rid of everything else. Alright, is there any new full body outfits that we can look for? Any full body outfits? Oh, there's a lot. Oh, that one's strange looking. These are cool. They're actually like kind of cool. I just wouldn't know how to style them and how to wear them. That's okay. Um, let's do styled looks. Let's just give him some some basic stuff. Let's do this one. I think his his theme is gonna be red. Let's give him a little tracksuit. He's gonna be wearing that bandana in all of his outfits because I couldn't I could not care less. Um, oh, you know what we can do? We can give him the pizza sweatshirt to go to bed in. Let's get rid of these shoes with a heel to go to bed. Yeah, that's not happening. Oh yeah, party wear. Oh yeah. Um party. What is this guy wearing to a party? He seems very classy, right? Am I right or am I right? He's this very very classy guy. Yeah, this is what he's wearing to a party. That is miserable. Um I feel like he'd wear something like this to a party. Let's get rid of those glasses though. He does not wear glasses or earrings. Uh, swimsuit. I don't know that we're really going to be doing any swimming in this, but um, I'll give him a little speedo because, again, Europeans, they love their little speedos. Um, hot weather wear? Ugh. I don't really know. I guess I can give him, maybe I can give him this so he wears it when he's outside. That's a cute outfit. Look how cute that is. That's so cute. Okay, I'm going to do it. Well, let's not actually do that for top hot weather. I'll just make another everyday outfit with that pattern. We can just do this for hot weather. It's really ugly. Well, I don't, I don't, I don't know what I'm doing. Just rushing through. Honestly, these are the most useless things ever. And then we'll do in a cold weather where yeah, he can wear it. He can wear that. Sure. Um, okay, but let's add some extra outfits for the chefs. I feel like he would wear this. Yeah, I really like. I like this one. So this is what he would wear when he's when he's serving, right? 
Oh, and he has really cool earrings. Even though I said he doesn't wear earrings, he has really cool earrings. Paolo Carbone. All right. It's time to make some money with Paolo Carbone. Let's do it. Okay, so we are gonna live in Tartosa. We're gonna live in this lot right over here. I've never moved in it before. One thing I do know is that this house has gotta go. So we are gonna mother load it up and put us in like a nice little Italian villa. And honestly, I think I'm. I think genuinely I'm gonna. We're we're just gonna have fun. We're just gonna have fun. I'm not gonna do no rags to riches. You're play, you're watching the wrong channel if you want to do that. So let's give him an Italian villa and r like furnish the kitchen with all of the brand new things in the next episode. If you wanna go check out our Italian villa kitchen, come back in the next episode. I'll be posting tomorrow in just a few hours, so no need to worry. Um, if you are watching this first episode though, thank you so, so, so much. I appreciate it. Um, and if you like this video, please give it a like. It's a big help. Uh, and I'm so excited to go on this adventure with you, Paolo and the pizza oven. See you guys all again next time. Goodbye. Woo.